So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to today's video and we are going to be talking about PES 2022. That's right, a bit of next gen discussion today uh, and first of all, check out the shirt folks. That's right, lovely Santa type shirt. It's a bit small now but you still got to try and squeeze in what you can. We've got some snowmen, some reindeers and... You know, you know, just some fun holiday stuff. So Merry Christmas to you all. Uh, but yeah, I haven't had time to put Master League out. It takes hours, guys. Hours and hours and hours to edit and play it and get the videos out. And now it's kind of the weekend, so time is limited. However, I wanted to talk about next gen. Now, I know I'll also leave timestamps for you guys in the description or whatever, so you guys can just fast forward if you get bored of me. Um, but I know there's a video going out right now. I know Spoonie put one out about showing sort of PES 2022, the capability of the Unreal Engine and all that, um, which is nice to see, you know, because I like to see what it's capable of. Obviously, we don't know factually what it's going to look like because we have no gameplay, but it doesn't mean we can't talk about it. So today we're going to kind of go through the previous launches, right? We've had PES 2006 because that we'll have a look at that. That was actually a, a new game on the 360. PES 2008, which came out. New engine, bit of a disaster, if I'm being honest. PES 2014, kind of similar. And then we've got PES 2022. So if you have a look at it, PES 2014, PES 2022. That's eight years, folks. Eight years since we have a new engine you guys should be buzzing like myself the excitement for next year is it's gonna be madness it really is anyway let's go through this article it's it's by operation sports i'll leave it in the description because i i do think it's quite a good read um but we're going to scroll through here and sort of discuss it so the first thing is pez 6 and i'm going to obviously play some videos for you guys to view and watch um, but technically they say that PES 6 was the first PES on the 360, uh, being as though the 360 had a year head start on the PS3, but much like other games, the 360 version of PES 6 was stripped down, specifically edit mode, alright? As you guys know, the Xbox struggles with edit mode because it doesn't have the option to import files of USBs and all that, so... You guys that are on the fence about next gen may be thinking, do I go for an Xbox Series X? Do I go for a PS5? Edit mode is going to work on PS5. It's going to. That is the facts. Xbox, we don't know. So you guys are going to have to take that into account. But PES 6 came out, right? And let's just quickly run through this. And if you kind of, it's kind of interesting to watch the old videos because honestly, PES hasn't even changed that much. You know, and this game is what? 16 years old? 15 years old now it hasn't changed that much probably more than that actually the menus are still kind of meh in fact they had more options which is kind of messed up they have more options in pez 6 especially here in formation screen where you could you remember those arrows you had those little arrows you could put players going to the left players going to the right now obviously we have advanced instructions but they, i don't, still don't think it's as flexible as the old system but if we have a look at pez 6 and we will get into some gameplay. What we got here? It's 720p. Yeah, that's fine for me. Uh, even the beginning of it, it's the same. It hasn't really changed. And even if Konami came out this year, next year, should we say, for PES 2022, and at least, at least update the introductions, the way the players come out and they sort of shake hands and the introductions for showing team lineups, all that, the crowd change it all konami at least make it look like it's a brand new game a brand new engine a brand new start for pez obviously it isn't but do something like that konami because it's about time it really is that you fixed it because we are seeing the same boring introductions the hands are all going all over the place here but the same you now they're on the left hand the same <laughs> intros as we've seen time and time again and it's become stale and obsolete and quite boring and i'm sure you guys agree but you know the gameplay for pez 2006 was fantastic i put a playthrough of it on my channel if you ever wanted to check it out um but overall you know pez 2006 was a solid game okay so there's some gameplay for you well, you all know how it kind of runs um and there's what i will bang one in fantastic header all right so that's that one we're going to move on now to the actual engines that came out and that was pez 2008 so they said for starters the leaping technology meant a huge graphical upgrade i can't really remember now off the top of my head how big the upgrade was because 
you got to see it in person to believe it. And the boxy, heavy, pixelated player models from the PS2 era were replaced by more accurate player models, namely player faces that were best seen during some of the new cutscenes. Now, this is where it will come interesting this next year. I keep saying this year, but it's next year. Because we're not going to see... I don't think we're going to see a massive graphical leap that we saw from like PS2 to PS3, PS3, PS4, because... The technology is already kind of there. Yes, the consoles are outdated, but you guys have all seen the power of sort of the PC, and we're not going to have any problems with like jaggedy edges. It's it's just going to be a more refined, graphically enhanced ray tracing could come through and all that. Um, so I don't expect huge graphical leaps next year, folks. Yeah, the stadiums will look more realistic. You would expect, and the player models better. You'd expect better cloth. You know, with the shirts are, are ricocheting, or ricocheting, are rippling through the wind, and the hair is all over the shop. You know, the FIFA type things that we've seen this year. That's kind of what we're going to get. But here's a look at PES 2008. Now, I can't remember. Did they have pass bars on 2008? I can't see them, and I don't think they did. Now, I was not impressed with 2008, folks. I thought it was a disaster of a game. I was living in Florida at the time, and I'll tell you a story real quick. I pre-ordered the game. I pre-ordered it from Europe because at that time in America, you had to wait at least two, three, even four weeks before you got a copy of PES. It just wasn't popular over here in the States. And I pre-ordered it, shipped it over. I played it for about four or five days and then I sold it for basically the same price to someone else. Um, it was, wait, hang on a minute. What did we just see there? That was kind of interesting. All right, so this is on the menu screen. Now, the player getting injured here with Filippo Inzaghi. See, that's kind of cool. Why does this thing keep popping up? That little square there. You see that little box there in the uh, in the right? You won't be able to see my cursor on the screen. But you can kind of see the players all sitting on the subs bench uh, and then sort of moving a little bit. That's interesting. Didn't even remember they had that in PES 2008. That's what I mean. There's little things like that that they removed. Not that it means much. But, yeah, that's the story. I, I literally bought the game in two weeks, sold it. Was not impressed by it. I honestly thought it was one of the worst Pezzes ever, ever made. Which is which is the concerning factor when you are going to a whole new engine. Is there going to be bugs and glitches? Probably. Probably. Do not expect 2022 to come out and be bug-free and all that. No. But that doesn't mean that they are going to remove features and uh, dumb down edit mode. I would truly hope and not expect them to do that. No, no, no. Not with the way things have gone. Because last year, as we know, we just got a season update. This year. Actually, this year. I keep getting my years wrong. But this year, we only got a season update. Which means surely Konami have been working their socks off on the new engine. They've had more time this year than any of the other times that we've seen new, new engines release. So, anyway, here's a look at PES 2008. You know, was it a huge difference from PES 2006? Honestly, I prefer 2006. I thought it was more fun. That's why I wouldn't have sold it in a couple of weeks. So there's a kind of looking at the gameplay. Uh, I mean, they did say while the new adaptive team AI wasn't as good as advertised. Very true. Uh, the individual playing styles we had grown to love were still mostly intact. That's one thing we've lost, though, haven't we, folks? We've lost that kind of player ID. I remember playing with Iron Robin. The, the ability to run with these players was sensational. You know, you just felt like you were Robin and you had the touch and the ability and he dribbled the way he dribbled. And I know we still kind of have it with the main players like Messi, obviously, but I want to see them bring that back more. Team ID and player ID is something that we miss and it's something that Pez had that FIFA just didn't at the time. Um, but it said, with the extra year, Konami spent a good chunk of development cycle rebuilding the beloved Master League mode. Uh, and we will take a look at a trailer for that. So there's a little bit of PES 2008 for you. Magic. Uh, actually, it's 2014 we're going to move on to next. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts. Did you guys enjoy 2008? I thought it was a joke, to be honest. So that was my, uh, my first impressions of it. Um, okay, so PES 2014. And we've got some funny, ridiculous glitches and everything else here. Um, so it was a landmark year for Pez as the developers looked to capitalize off Konami's most popular franchise, Metal Gear, and its Fox engine. Okay, uh, it was all about it was uh, as raw as you could get. Mm, sounds interesting. Uh, while the visuals were outstanding for its time, and they were good, I remember watching E3 and having a look at the animations. I was still in still impressed with the animations for Pez 2014. 
but the gameplay and the physics kind of went out the window a little bit. Um, so Konami struggled to initially get to grips on the new mass physics engine, while, which resulted in some hilarious, albeit frustrating, moments. So I'm going to run this video because it just shows you glitches and bugs and stuff that, honestly, you still see it to this day and age. Uh, Pairs and FIFA. You, you still see glitches, you still see ridiculous things happening. I do think you see more of it happening on FIFA than Pez. I don't know if that's because there's more coding going on behind the scenes for, for FIFA. Um, but the amount of stuff you see with players flying off in the sky and a goalie kicking the ball from his own half and it goes a thousand miles an hour into the net. I don't know how these bugs happen, but they certainly do. Um, and we've seen it many, many times. So yeah pez 2014 it looked great and that's the thing i don't have any doubt that pez 2022 will look fantastic and i hope so but i would expect it to it's the gameplay all right it's the gameplay that ultimately is going to determine whether we play it or not of course like most games so there's a look at pez 2014 it was a disaster as well honestly i did not enjoy it um I enjoyed it more than PES 2008 though, you know, because I think when they brought, you know, the passing bar and all that stuff into the mix, eventually they started adding that later. PES 2014 was alright in certain regards, but a disaster in others, folks. Um, and, and that's that. So, I don't think we've got any real kind of gameplay here. It's just showing us some funny bits and bobs. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts about PES 2014. Did you enjoy it? And stuff like this where the goalies kind of just stand there and watch and yeah doesn't look great does it all right so konami would eventually iron out a lot of the kinks for pez 2014 through numerous patches by then most of us had moved on to uh, ps4 where fifa 14 was you know pretty damn good and all that so let's move on so they came out with a trailer okay this was the official pez 2014 master league trailer i haven't seen this so i'm gonna watch it and I'm going to see what I think about it. Become a manager in the Master League and move to other clubs across the continent in PES 2014. Okay. So, there you go. Advance your career while moving between clubs. Rise to glory and achieve worldwide recognition. Okay. Waving. A little bit of cutscenes. Players jumping on each other. A massive trophy, which is about the size of him uh, you can even become a national squad manager in master league so that was something new they added for 2014 i guess becoming a national manager build a team in your fashion and aim for the top of the world i mean the wording isn't great i would expect a far better trailer for pez 2022 what with them having the likes of whedon's working on it now so except better there uh, or expect better uh, in the become a legend you can now play as a goalkeeper so they added that as something different. You've got an offensive and defensive keeper. Uh, you've signed your first professional contract. Look at those faces back in the day. Classic. Although, honestly, some of the default faces nowadays look just the same. Uh, saving shots or pouncing on the ball is at your control. Call your teammate to instruct clearing and passing the ball. But see, this is something that no one would care about in this day and age. It may have been a good concept back then. But how many of you actually do become a legend as a keeper? I haven't even touched become a legend because it's been that bad for that long. And it's so stale and stagnant now. No one wants to play it. So, yeah, this trailer's not... Yeah, it's all right. I mean, a new budget cap has been introduced to give users more freedom to choose players within a predefined fund. Okay, MLO consists of three leagues. Each of them has unique characteristics. Now, remember that Master League Online, folks? That went disappeared don't see it anymore unfortunately obviously we have my club now uh, you can choose your preferred league and find players for your team at a cheaper price so these are all kind of basics did we not have this in pez 2013 on that i think we did and honestly pez 2014 was a very very dumbed down game folks so yeah this trailer it, it didn't do anything for me at all they need a lot more than this once you've earned your fortune playing the galactical league where no fund restrictions are applied Various competitions will be held in MLO. You can join competitions of your league and certain competitions you, you, you enjoy as a manager. You will have a separate record section as a manager. So not a great trailer, if I'm being honest, even for back in the day. Uh, they're going to have to do far, far more than that. So 
that was kind of a look at, at both launches uh, for the new engines, and none of them were great. Folks, none of them were great. Let's now quickly have a look at this PES 2022 trailer that you guys have seen, I'm sure. Um, and, you know, obviously it shows you it's going to happen on the Unreal Engine. I think that's the exciting part because we know that the Unreal Engine is a very, very good engine. Now, Konami have not made their own. They will refine it, of course, um, to do what they need to do to make it work the way they want it to. But... This was more of a graphical showcase of kind of showing Lionel coming out. There's the boots. As I say, graphically, guys, you know, don't even worry about it because I think the game's going to look really nice, really polished. It's the gameplay. It's the modes. Master League, My Club, those are the things that we need to see improve substantially. Not this much. I'm talking this much. It needs to be a whopper. Uh, and there, of course, is Messi in all his glory. And uh, that was it. It was short and sweet. A bit of a teaser, folks. A bit of a teaser. Really just, yeah, just sort of showing off the graphics. And then if we kind of have a look at what the Unreal Engine can... Unreal 5 Engine, Unreal Engine 5, whatever way you want to say it, can do, there's your possibilities. Now, all this stuff isn't really relevant because, you know, they're showing a cave and lighting. Obviously, we're not going to be playing football in a cave. But you're in a stadium and you've got the sun shining down on you. Now, ray tracing and all that is going to come into effect. It's the lighting. You know, use the Unreal Engine for what they need to use it for. You know, enhanced physics and stuff. Dynamic lighting, yes, and shadows. And that's what we're going to be looking for with the, with the new engine. But also dribbling as well. You know, are we going to get a more refined dribbling system? Proper 360 dribbling now. Are you going to have full control over your player? Time will tell. Time will tell. Uh, but yeah, kind of just showed a little bit of this, that, and the other. Uh, it was a it was a good trailer, and honestly, it looked it looked breathtaking when you actually saw sort of the 4K resolution of it all. But the power is certainly there, folks. Certainly, certainly there. It's good looking. Uh, anyway, that is all for today, folks. That's kind of what I wanted to show. Uh, I wanted to talk about leading up to the new engine you know it hasn't and that's the worrying thing though is it hasn't been good <laughs> you know 08 was rubbish 14 was not really better pez 2022 has to be next level simple as that because if konami can capture it they will probably get quite a few people switching over from fifa to pez likewise it could happen the other way around if it's a disaster so there's a lot of pressure on konami next year a lot of pressure but i'm buzzing for it very 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 much looking forward to seeing what they have and i will be dishing out a lot of content showcasing what they have to offer when it's available anyway let me know your thoughts below we'll return with master league we'll sit down and play some over the weekend hopefully although i'm away on sunday going to sea world so we'll see but anyway i will see you guys shortly take care i hope you guys did enjoy it. and until next time au revoir take care